today we're dealing with something very important for you, and we are dealing with five tests of leadership. My name is Lutana Okoye, the Pathfinder and your life coach. Now, over the years, as you keep leading, you will notice this couple of tests, right? Now, as a leader, you will go through them. They will come for you, but you will need to make sure you win this test. Number one test is the money test. The money test. That is just coming to test your level of integrity. As a leader, part of the things you build is the spirit and the character of integrity. Integrity is living above your words. Integrity is living the required standards for time. Integrity is making sure that your words don't fall to the ground and making sure you are not stained. When I use the word stain, I mean with all kinds of negative character and all of that and practices. So money test will come. The question is, can your organization, can people give you money and go home and rest? When they ask you for that money, will you be able to provide it? Will you see money flying around in your organization and not touch it? Do you have enough integrity to work with people and see a whole lot of money and don't mess up? So these are key questions you need to you know, ask yourself. In this world where everybody is trying to grab something, will you be willing to be that leader that makes a difference? So we're dealing with this part of the test that is called the money test. The second kind of test is called the woman test. For the man, is a woman test. For the woman leader, or a leader that is a female, is a man test. Now, specifically for men, so many times we fall into this trap of uh, sleeping around when you don't have the right character required, when you don't have the right discipline, and of course the Spirit of God to stop you from doing this evil. Sometimes, like I've seen a lot of leaders sleep around with their secretary, sleep around with someone they met, you know, maybe in a conference or maybe in a party or something. You know, sometimes it's even the lady coming towards you, know, looking for a way to penetrate you and all of that and get your attention. Will you be that leader that will remove your eyes from all of this? Now you're listening to me. Will you be that leader? Because you need to build what it takes to be that kind of leader. You know, a lot of leaders have been messed up by women. And some leaders that are female also have been messed up by guys. So they just found somebody, a tall guy, handsome, says parks and quotes and all of that. Before you know it, a whole lot of things have gone wrong. And then they start signing checks they're not meant to sign. So will you be that leader that will take care of and, you know, guard your heart against these things? It's very fundamental. It's one of the topics you need to think about. And you know what? This text will come to you per time, one after the other. The third one is called a pride test. The pride test. Now you are getting results. People now, you know, buy your products. People now know you. People now, you know, you are now a name. Your company is now a global name. All of that. The question is, will you still be humble? The pride test comes to check your level of humility. Fame has now come. People now reckon with you and all of that. Can your boss still send you on those errors? Can, can you still be humble to follow leadership? Can you still be humble to, to be calm enough to take instructions? You know, so whether you are uh, at, no matter level you are in leadership, there is still someone higher than you. Will you be humble enough to follow and don't allow pride to come in? You know, so these are very important things you need to think about. The fourth one is called the wine test. The wine test, especially for the men. You start with one bottle or a glass of wine to two to three to four, and they destroy and damage their reputation. So will you look at that? Will you take time to look at that? It may be a problem of your environment, your kind of friends. So despite your height in the society, you still misbehave with wines, with drinks, and all of that. You know, so you need to consider that. It's, a, it's something you need to think about. Then finally, you have the power test. The power test. So power is an amplifier. When they give you power, suddenly you see your real character. You see what is going on in Nigeria today. People that felt things were bad before now, they joined in protests, they joined in saying all kinds of things, and today they are in the seat of power. They are the ones, you know, 
messing up and destroying the nation in the name of governance. So you need to be careful because um, sometimes you are out of the corridor and you think you know. Now you are in there. The values you profess before, you're no longer keeping it. Power is dangerous if it's not under control. Power is dangerous if you've not been built for that. Power is dangerous when you've not cultivated it requires skills and character needed. Skills like humility. Now you are there, nobody can talk to you. So you need to be careful. You listening to me, begin now to cultivate the right character. Begin now to build your ability. And that is why we are here at the Leadership Hub to help you develop the competency, the character, and the charisma needed for you to rise in leadership. My name is Lutana Okoye. Feel free to call us. Feel free to reach out to us. We'll be there to answer you. I'd like you to, you know, become our friend by subscribing to this channel. This is your channel. The Leadership TV is your channel. I want to thank you for your time and have a great day. Yeah.